Well, the other major headline across America today, of course, the pandemic and increased efforts to contain spiking cases of the Omicron variant. In Florida, positive tests are up to almost 30 percent over the past week, which means nearly one out of every three people is testing positive. And those people are in turn finding it much harder to track down effective treatments. Correspondent Brian Enton is live for us from Miami-Dade County. So, Brian, several other states reporting these similar shortages. And now Governor DeSantis is blaming the Biden administration. Yeah, Nicole, there are about half a dozen states who have said that they don't have enough of these antibody treatments. We've been at this site uh, in Miami all day long and watched as some very sick people were turned away. You've seen the long lines for COVID tests, but there's something else very hard to get these days. Monoclonal antibody treatments like Regeneron. At this Miami, Florida site, we watched as people left disappointed without the medicine. How frustrating is it? Very, <laughs> very, because they say it helps a lot. Um, but at this point, you know, I'm positive, but there's nothing else that I can pretty much do. There is a shortage. Uh, it's been weeks we have been trying to uh, get it for family members and the neighbors, and nobody has been able to, to accommodate. Joe Quinn Bayo, who has pre existing conditions, says he's had to show up twice and plead with the staff and that he finally got the treatment. I was here at 8 in the morning. Uh, I got on the wait list, and, uh, but only until I came back and kind of begged a little bit. Then I was able to uh, go in. States like West Virginia, Ohio, Oklahoma, Texas, New York, Maine, Mississippi, Michigan, and Florida all say they are short on the drugs. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has been calling out the Biden administration, who took charge of sending out the medicine after some states were buying up huge quantities. We asked them to stop preventing the distribution of these treatments, and fortunately, yesterday, uh, HHS decided to reverse course, and they are going to uh, be sending uh, these treatments. I think that's the right thing to do. Doctors say monoclonal antibody treatments are less effective against the Omicron variant, but they're proven to help with other variants that are still circulating and reduce serious symptoms and the need for hospitalization. In Oklahoma, some infusion centers fear they'll have to close down because they don't have enough supply. Because of the shortage in the state, we now are having to kind of play God and say, well, you're high risk enough and so you get it, but you're not high risk enough so you don't get it. And the Biden administration says that the antibody shipments are back on. Obviously, at sites like this, uh, those new shipments are not trickling in yet. Uh, the administration also says they're sending out uh, new tests. But we all know uh, it's not easy to find a COVID test right now. Nicole? Yeah, it certainly isn't. And some, some hard decisions having to be made by those hospital staffers. All right, Brian, thank you for that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.